Hey guys, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So before I start, I just want to say that this video was kindly sponsored by PDF Element. Make sure you watch till the end to see the special offer and discount I have for you guys. Essentially, PDF Element is a downloadable software that allows you to edit, create, combine, and convert PDF documents. And speaking from experience, I can tell you that without PDF Element, those tasks are almost impossible to achieve. So I'm going to show you all the features that PDF Element is capable of, but first I'm going to load my chemistry textbook. Starting from the top, there are buttons that control the flipping of the pages, as well as an option between dragging and scrolling through. And for my favorite function of all times is the editing one. It basically turns all the text in the PDF into selectable text boxes, of which you can click into and edit. Now this is extremely helpful if you are annotating novels, highlighting, or just copying the text elsewhere. Moving on, there are also a lot of other useful functions, such as an adjustable overview, adding commentary, protection, etc. As I've briefly hinted, I have a 50% discount code for you guys, so definitely check out the link at the top of the description description box. And now we are ready to jump into the rest of the video of which I filmed me studying for over 10 hours. I'm gonna be honest, here was it a pleasant experience? Uh, no. But was it necessary? I, I think yes. And just a quick disclaimer, I did not film and study 12 hours on one single day. I split this up over a couple of days, so don't come at me. But what I'm doing here is annotating this little novella called Kitchen. I've been enjoying the book so far, but also it wasn't as interesting as I expected. Now moving on to the following day, I was practically working on the same assignment. I was just writing a reading response journal for Kitchen for the next portion I read. I planned to spend a maximum of two hours on this, but it literally ended up taking me the double amount of time because I had to type it up and then handwrite it. So I guess it's worth sharing a behind the scenes of how my work area looks like. I'm not going to share specifically how I set up my camera just because I'm going to do it in a future video as to how I start YouTube, that kind of video. I have everything I need, my lamp set up at a very dangerous angle, 
because I need good lighting, although the lighting is still not great. I'm gonna go enjoy my probably 10 minute break and then I'll be back to studying and finishing up my English journal entry. At this point, I've migrated to a completely different place because I wasn't concentrating on my desk and I know this isn't exactly the best place, but I'm gonna stick to it because it does the job and I get the work done. At this point, I was getting a little bit tired and exhausted and just not focused at all, so I decided to go ahead and take a shower. Then I went back at it and took about another hour before finishing it and moving on to doing some Mandarin homework. Then to help me focus even more, I decided to prop up my desk and do my manager homework while I stand. And I finished that day with another hour or so of reading of Kitchen. I mean, I guess it's a win-win situation because I like reading before bed to help me fall asleep, so it all works out. Also, I guess I should mention I did study quite a lot this specific day just because I had no other activities or anything. So I also actually did around two hours of biology and chemistry combined, but I was studying at a very odd place. So I didn't end up filming that, but just thought I would tell you guys. And that was a wrap for day two. And we're on the last day of this study with me vlog compilation type of thing. Anyways, as you saw, I cut up some fruits for the next day, but here I am. The first thing I did tonight was doing some Mandarin homework in preparation for a dictation the next day. After I finished copying the passage for Mandarin, I decided to move on to some chemistry. We didn't exactly have any homework, but I wanted to do some practice questions for one because we have a test coming up next week and because I was feeling slightly motivated. And I guess I should add because I didn't want to do my English journal so I was practically doing every other task I could to avoid doing that. After spending some time doing chemistry and feeling slightly more confident about stoichiometry, I decided to move on to biology, of which I took some notes and reading. But specifically, I wrote a flashcard about Dichotomous Key because I had a quiz the next day on it, and then I just spent some time reading the textbook. And like the previous night, I spent about another hour or so reading kitchen and writing responses, annotations, markings, etc. So 
I think that's everything I did and I'm actually still surprised at this point that I was able to study for 12 hours within a span of three days. And that's about it. I studied for 12 hours within a span of three days. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and check out more of my contents and all my social medias and links will be in the description box below. And just one last very important reminder, don't forget to check out PDF Element in the description box below and claim your 50% off discount code. Just one last thank you to Wondershare PDF Element for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!